I'm back for day two. This is like a big step for me. What do we think? What do we think? What do we think? I don't know. Ah. Like we're definitely past the point of no return. Good morning everyone and welcome to day two of Vlogmas. I'm back for day two. This is like a big step for me because I didn't know if I could even make it this far. And here we are. I hope you enjoyed yesterday's video. If you haven't seen that one, it will of course be linked down below. Yesterday I wallpapered this corridor and we're gonna keep working on that today. I have a few little things that I've added since then nothing crazy i changed my light bulbs in this light up here i had the like frosted ones before and i really really don't like those light bulbs and so these ones are non-frosted led lights and i like that effect so much better it's really illuminating the space which is nice for working in i also added this globe up here on top of this cabinet and so that is the beginning of this vignette which maybe we can finish today. I have this extension cord beside me, which I'm gonna swap out. I have like a Christmassy one up there that is green with a red button and that's just not working for me at all. This brown one will blend in so much better, but these are my favorite, favorite cords. They just have a button switch on them. So for things like twinkle lights, especially at Christmas time, these are so handy. If you can run it so that it's just on the floor so that you can just step on it, that's what I have beside my bed and it makes things so much easier. I always, always use these for Christmas trees. I never just plug in a Christmas tree. This is so much easier. So I'm gonna swap this out so that it blends in more. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing yet today, but I'm gonna try to address the mess over here and the mess that is in my bedroom from all of the things in here that I kind of offset into the other room. I also have this blank space here and I'm trying to decide what I want to do with it because I have a full length mirror that's right behind you and that's in front of my balcony door. I don't really use the balcony but I could, not right now because it's snowing, but that could be reintroduced into my life again. There's so many doors in this space though, like just in this little room, not even counting the door at the bottom of the stairs, there's five doors and one window. So it's not like actually a lot of wall space to work with, so I have my full length mirror in front of this door right here. So that could possibly go there. It doesn't give me a lot of room to actually like look at an outfit though, so I'm debating that. It would make this corner here look a lot bigger though, which would be nice, but it would also cover up the biggest swath of the wallpaper. So I'm not sure about that. I could just do like a smaller mirror or I have these prints, which I really like. This one is of two cars. I don't know if these are Ralph Lauren's cars, but this is from a Ralph Lauren um, coffee table book. And then I have this one. Jackie Onassis sitting in a cafe. I really like them. They're just like moody black and whites. So I could possibly put those up there. I just don't know again, like I said yesterday with the furs, I don't know if it's gonna give it too much of like a glam sort of vibe when I'm looking for more of like a study library kind of vibe. So they might get tucked in somewhere else. What do we think about layering those up there? But like actually hanging on the wall so they're kind of centered between the ceiling and the top of this. I think I might try that. There we go. Do we like that? I don't know. And then have a few more things up there. Because I can't leave anything alone. What do we think? What do we think? What do we think? I don't know. about that on the top shelf I think I like that so far I think it looks really random but like still orderly because I have the repetition of these two urns I'm gonna put these here I think I've made my decision I'm gonna move that mirror right there because I can't think of anything else to fill that space with and I also have which I found as I was cleaning stuff in this hall 
I have this wall sconce that I made a while ago. I didn't make it, I painted it. It's very like gothic looking. And so I think I'm gonna put this in this little alcove here in the space between this and the mirror. That was my motivating factor for moving the mirror. This mirror is so unbelievably heavy. That's also why I was kind of reluctant to move it. I'm gonna clean it and then move it. It's a very precise way I have to shimmy it around because it's so heavy. Okay, this was what it needed. Yes, I love this. And then this here, I think that is gonna be super cute. One thing that I do need to do though is burn down this candle a little bit. So I'm gonna put this in a candlestick because I hate the look of like a fresh, dripless candle. I'm just making lunch right now, so I'm waiting for water to boil, and I thought I would do a little bit of a product and inspiration sourcing time. One thing that I really wanna get is for my window in the hall, and that is a privacy film to go on top of it. Not because I need privacy, I don't, but Home Depot has really amazing like decorative ones, so I'll insert a picture here of the one that I wanna get. I think this is gonna look amazing. They are $43 and I need to figure out what the size is actually. 24 by 36. 24 by 36, I feel like that's kind of, let's go on Amazon, let's see what they have. I also really like the thought of like a faux stained glass pattern. I've seen some really nice ones, but none that have exactly the right like coloring that I'm looking for. Okay, I found this one, which is 17 almost 18 inches by 78 inches so that's and it's cheaper than the other one it's 27 dollars it's definitely like a um, very different vibe red orange and green are some of my favorite colors in decor so i feel like that could be a really fun pop of color that would just limit the options i had for curtains though because Maybe a little bit busy with that and the wallpaper and a printed curtain. And I love a printed curtain, so I don't know about this. I've definitely reached the point in this project where I am like, what have I done? Like we're definitely past the point of no return. And I don't know what to do next. I'm really loving everything that I've done so far, but I'm just like really struggling to figure out what to do with the giant mess that's over there. I need to paint my coat closet. That's one thing that I do need to do. A lot of that mess is coats and shoes. Maybe that's what I need to do is just move all of that stuff out of there and try to sort it. Ugh, I don't know. This is not the fun part. I have an endless supply of motivation when it comes to fun decorating things. But when it comes to the actual practicality of getting a project from point A to point B, all the things in between, I just hate them. So, I'm gonna try to clean that up now. Okay, we can see floor space and this closet is nicely organized. And you can see by this crazy green color, why I need to paint this <laughs> something a little bit more calm. Let me take you through what I've done. Okay, so I've corralled all of this mess as much as I can, and then I have to move furniture from my bedroom back out to here that I had to make room for earlier. So this is gonna get filled back up, unfortunately, but dun dun dun. Okay, so I've actually consolidated all of the books onto the bottom two shelves. I absolutely love the addition of these two urns in here. 
I like that it adds something a little bit symmetric to the otherwise kind of chaotic look of the shelves. I like the mix match of having vertical and horizontally laying books. I think once I get more to fill these shelves out a little bit more, I'll have to do them all vertically, but for now, I'm loving this. Yeah, I really like it. While this room is definitely still in chaos and not relaxing enough to actually sit down and read a book in, I'm still gonna try to put it to use by going to my wonderful bookshelf over here, grabbing a book and heading to the bath. Because what else are you gonna do when it's snowing outside and you're sick of working? <laughs> so let's go. My new obsession is reading by candlelight. That sounds obvious. But reading by tapers specifically because I love candles in the bath, but I never had an appreciation for how much light taper candles cast. I know that might sound really stupid and obvious to some people, but I've just been obsessed with them. So my latest investment has been beeswax candles and I am so happy about it. Mm. 